what a better gift than being learned how to adapt uh, to them right away. And, uh, and, and apply them at first it was physical obstacles, but then there's always gonna be other obstacles in life in every area. And they're just, they're always gonna be there. Um, and it's just a matter of how we deal with them and, and looking at them instead of things blocking us as, uh, instead of things blocking us or obstructing us as things that we can overcome to help us learn and help us grow. And uh, being able to, um, to have that sort of um, perspective uh, just, just gives a whole different other meaning of life and can create so much more happiness um, when you can view the quote unquote problems or, or, or quote unquote failings that way. And, uh, and that's why you know, it's so important for, for us to you know, acknowledge the heroes in our communities, you know, especially the youth. It's the, it's the people like that that are, that are the real heroes and, and you know, it's, they're gonna be the next generation making a difference and we're doing what we can um, right now, so something like creating a wheelchair division of the Blue Nose Marathon that allows all of the local kids with disabilities to have the, the chance to, to see. You know, like I saw Jeff Adams and other people will see the athletes competing here this weekend um, and, and the possibilities that are out there and why that's so important um, for the communities to, to do. So I'm very thankful and grateful for that. And that starts all the way back with, you know, James McGregor Stewart. Um, you know, what he did uh, in terms of, you know, walking around with a crutch being told he's not allowed to have this position or that position or that work. Uh, the amount of work that's been done and, and the generations before us, and luckily they've paid the hard way. And our job is, there's still a lot of work to do, but it's, uh, it's, it's really easy compared to how, uh, how difficult things would have been 100 years ago. So in all of this, I guess the most important thing is, uh, that i found is, is in, in, in all of this is passion and, and purpose that we're trying to find for ourselves is identifying, you know, what, what is it that we can give? And that really is, um, you know, what I was blessed and found with wheelchair racing is equal as I, as I love sports um, and competing. The other half of the reason why I started wheelchair racing was I realized it was an opportunity um, that if I did well, I would have a platform to be able to, to share the messages and, and, uh, and be able to play a role in, in, in working together because it's, it's never just one, it's, it's a bunch of people together and there's a, a, a nice, um, I don't know if, if you've heard this uh, sort of analogy before, but all of us have one light, you know, and, and we get so wrapped up in, in fear. And, and if you can imagine a dark room, and all we need to do is just let our own light shine, who we are, what we can give, our purpose. And in a room full of darkness, if one person lights their match, you can light up the whole room. And, and if we realize that if we work together, it's not just one person, it's a whole bunch, um, we're gonna do a lot more together. And you guys have done so much here to, to make this Blue Nose Marathon happen. So thank you uh, for doing that. And, and, uh, allowing me to be a part of it. And, um, and you know, we have lots of great uh, athletes here that are gonna pave the way for the next generations and be the great examples. I have, uh, have an example here. This is uh, Pan here, she's a member of uh, CIBC Team Next. Um, if you can find her, where's, where's Waldo, where's Pan? Uh, <laughs> and, which uh, I'm happy to be a, a mentor and a, and a part of. Um, so we've got lots of people in the community doing uh, lots of great things. So utilize them as much as you can. And uh, I was just going to finish on this uh, picture. <laughs> the funny thing about this picture is you see me smiling. <coughs> and if, most people would think it's because I've got all those medals, but I'm, I'm laughing because I'm thinking how funny I look. And I think that's enough. People are, you know, loving it, taking pictures. But um, you don't get the medals for. The, the quote unquote fails, failures, the ones, the races that you don't win. But the ones that you don't win, those are the ones where you learn the most. You learn more from not winning, from not doing well, than you do from winning the medals. Um, and that just goes to show it's so much more about the process. And that's what's really important than the goals, because the goals are gonna come and go. When I won the Boston Marathon, I got over that in three weeks. And when I lost the London Paralympics, I got over that in three weeks because it's done and it's on to the next thing. So um, if I can uh, if I can leave anything with you, it's enjoy this process, enjoy the marathon today, and uh, enjoy the fun and, and bringing this event back for the next couple of years and, and hopefully in perpetuity. So thank you very much for having me.